Let's take a look at some of the key plays for DC tonight that they just weren't able to connect on. That was Lucky Jackson missed him. And then here's the fumble. Wow. Very uncharacteristic of DC there on both occasions. But when you look at the left side of your screen here, Quit Dormady's spectacular night for Orlando uh, offensively. He just kept fighting. But look at those last two uh, uh, categories there. You got the combined points and then the penalties and the missed 29 yard field goal was a kill for DC tonight. But Darrington with the run. DC will use their final timeout. Timeout, Orlando. Their final timeout of the half. 30 seconds. Said Orlando, but meant DC. That's okay. Correction, the timeout was called by line. DC. Call out to guys, it's not the right one, y'all move them. We don't need for five yards. Hey, we don't need for five yards. If I throw it, get what you can and get the not run out of bounds. Do not run out of bounds. Stay in bounds. The clock will stop. Hey, he said hand it off. Quentin Dormady just taking charge in the huddle. He knows under two minutes the clock will stop if you get out of bounds. He just said if I throw it, I hope he doesn't throw it. <laughs> Orlando, or DC hopes he throws it. DC's now out of timeouts. Second and six. They're going to run it. DC will stop Darrington. Right as he crosses the 40 to the 41, the clock will continue to tick. Orlando, they need a first down. Yep. The boot is better, huh? Run the boot. Dormady, huddle up. This to me. If you need, do not run this out of bounds. We're going to go flank right, flank right, fake left, boot at eight. Stay in bounds and just don't throw an incomplete pass. Let's go. Snap it with two seconds. Let's go. Let's go. Dormity. There's the boot out to his right. Pressured. And he gets down inbounds. DC gets the stop, which means they will get the ball back as Fadal Brown with the tackle. Absolutely. Absolutely. Really surprised by that call. Really surprised by that call. Why? You've run the football so effectively between the tackles. And now you take the ball further away from the line of scrimmage with the risk of potentially throwing it, getting an incompletion, and then the no, clock stopping. No! 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 Don't! Timeout, Orlando. I just think their percentages the were better. Hey, man, 30 seconds. Running the football on, there and actually converting. Get it off. Please reset the game clock to 30 seconds. 3-0, please. Now, last week, Orlando had a punt blocked in the fourth quarter. That was their demise against Seattle. And you just heard Terrell Buckley tell his punter that round. you got to get this punt off. No question. Hey, Matt, tell Matt to get it off. Tell him to get it off. Get it off, Matt. Get it off. If you're Coach Buckley, is this a max protection? Do you have everybody just stay home and block? Well, the problem is if you do that, you, you're going to have coverage restrictions, and you could be giving oh, up on. a big return, and now you're giving up 30 seconds. Wow. Clock is good. Clock is good. They just don't. Wow. Over 27. We counting it. Josh fight. Hammond is the deep man for D.C. Brown does get it away. A good pump. Hammond. Fields. Let's see what he can do to start this return. Oh, he is just drilled. And a penalty flag comes flying. A 50-yard punt, a five-yard return, but let's see what the penalty yeah, is. Here we go. I got illegal use of the helmet, hitting him with the crown. Did you get that, Dean? 48. Yep. So no no foul. No foul. No foul. Okay. There is no foul on the play. The contact was ruled legal. First down. Because the returner was a runner, Jaquan Blakely was not called for using the crown of his helmet. 
That was a clinic tackle, though. Woo! Here we go. This game has been fire. 20 seconds right, to right, play. Right. What can DC Back do up. down by one? Tamu throwing, completing to Chris Blair. It's now the clock will Blake, stop Blake. as they Blake, reset Blake, Blake. the change Blake, just like Blake, it does Blake. in college. Tamu's calling for the spike as soon as they set it. Here goes the clock, and Tamu spikes it with 13 seconds. All right, sugar, sugar, sugar. Remember, the kicker, Matt McCrane, missed a 29-yard field goal go. earlier this go. quarter. Hey, spread left, spread left, spread left. Red, Tucson, red, Tucson. So now what they've got to do, they've got to get another gainer oh, like that to set, get them set. close to field goal range, go. but they're going to have to have another clock situation, right, right. which means everybody's going to have to there hustle. Four wide receivers set for D.C. on second and ten. Tamu, he's got to get this first down, and he does. The clock will stop. Mark down at the 45. Spikes it at the four. Four seconds to play. That might be a penalty. I think Jordan Tom was correct right there. We spiked it. Hey, Dean, is this something that needs to be looked at? The Orlando yeah, but defender. Was he offside? Was he offside? Why we call two? I can't tell. I can't tell if he's in the number 97 and number 96 or else. Yeah. Yeah, I, that, that's the only thing. I don't worry about him, what, what he did after. So Matt McCrane will attempt a 63-yard field goal. It's on its way. No good. And Orlando gets their first win of the season. Yes. Yes. Oh, my God. DC is undefeated no more. The Guardians shot the defenders. 37, 36. What a game in the XFL. For my partners, Tom Lugano, Taylor Davis, Harry Douglas, I'm John Shrippen. What a night in Orlando. The Guardians, their first win in the XFL.